President Trump's new orders on immigration enforcement have been met with a show of resistance around the country, especially in some large cities. Part of the response in Boston was a rally yesterday near a monument to the city's immigrants of the 19th century. The event was organized by a labor union representing service workers, 32BJ, SCIU. We'd like to welcome its vice president, Roxana Rivera. Thank you very much. Thank you. For Thank being you. With us. <laughs> First of all, talk about your members and, and, and how they're processing all this. Yeah, so the majority of our members um, are immigrants. They come from countries outside of the U.S., um, but they've lived here for decades. They contribute, they're taxpayers, and, um, you know, they're concerned about what this means for not just themselves and their families, but their whole communities. And just, you know, the immigrants um, are what are part of what makes America great and Massachusetts strong. And um, Boston has been a very welcoming city, you know, and, and uh, to help immigrants integrate in the community and and um you know it really sends a wrong message to those millions of folks you know that 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 they're no longer welcome in our country and i think that goes against uh the values the core values of what makes america great well uh, coming from the president himself and some of his uh, top supporters uh, uh, there's a mixed message. And, I mean, sometimes it's combative, and sometimes the president's saying, well, well we're really just going after bad people, uh, you know, and, and we're not necessarily going to harm the rest of them. Yeah. Well, I think, you know, how they're interpreting what a criminal it is, you know, someone that's actually fleeing um, from from uh, near death in their home countries as refugees coming here and saying they are no longer welcome. Um, you know, if they call that criminal, you know, that really is not what America um, was founded on, right? It was a place for folks to come here and make a family, you know, make a community and a family here and able to contribute and build their home here. And um, so it is alarming to many few folks. And that's why many people came together um, just yesterday um, here in Boston and other cities, right, to basically say it's it's wrong. Um, and it's, you know, he doesn't speak for the values that many people that live live here believe in. What was the event like yesterday? So it was it was great to see. We had um, uh, folks from our city council, from our state house. Um, we had uh, clergy. We had uh, community folks. Um, people actually that. Um, maybe not have been engaged in this way, um, really feel right now that they have to do something. And I think folks saw it um, this past Saturday at the Boston Women's Marches, you know, across the country, including here in Boston. And then, so I think folks are really looking for a way to engage and to say, you know, this is not what I believe in and um, we need to do something about it. And I think that uh, it's great to see uh, mayors like Marty Walsh coming so forcefully and moving about, um, you know, making sure that this city is still welcoming of, of, of immigrants. Um, and I think uh, we're looking at, you know, what cities and states can do to, to you know, um, protect um, our communities. And um, we don't want families to be separated. We don't want communities to have more crime because they're not going to be working with local police, you know, and we want to make sure that those community relationships are strong. I, I couldn't help but notice the photograph of Boston Globe of the Boston police chief, uh, Willie Gross. Uh, that must have been important for him to be visible there. Yes, I think that it sends a loud message to folks that, you know, we know what's most important is to keep our community safe. And if you, you know, you can't do that if uh, segments of the population are in fear, right? And so, and really the job, and I think they, he spoke about the mission of the police department, right, is to for foremost to basically make sure those community relationships are strong so that they can keep the community safe for everybody. Now, uh, as, as things continue to proceed under the new president here, there, there are still aspects of enforcement that we don't know about right now. There, there are these young people who were signed up for some kind of deferred action mm -hmm. under President Obama, and I guess that's a, a big if. Probably. Yeah. So, I mean, there's still more that, that the Trump administration has said that they're considering doing. And so that's why it's important for people to to basically stand up and say, no, that's not what we want you to do. Because um, I think that, um, I, I think it's way, you know, because uh, we don't know if it's going to happen. I think that there's still, um, it, it's still important to stand up and, 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 you know, and fight back against those things because uh, we don't want so many people to get hurt. It sends a wrong message about 
America. Um, these are young people that have lived here most all their lives, and um, they'll be separated by from their families to a country that they don't even know. This has been their home, um, and they're looking towards um, you know a future here um, and uh, looking to go to college and uh, and contribute. Um, and that has been what has made America great, right? We've uh, had young people come, and we've had them you know uh, help build our communities. This is BNN News, and we're talking with the Vice President of 32BJ SCIU, Roxana Rivera. Roxana, uh, what about going forward? Because w one of the other things going on here is that there's a battle over how this issue is defined, uh, whether from the White House, for, for people who see it differently, and from your end. Talk about how important it is to get people out and visible and, and, and flexing their connections, I guess. I mean, I you know we look at the the people that um, Trump is putting in positions of power. So, for example, the uh, Budster, the la you know the person that um, he's looking to appoint Secretary for Secretary of Labor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. exactly. Um, that sends you know who says that you know um, he prefers robots over people. Um, you know that really is not the message of a labor secretary. You know it should be strengthening the working class and and protecting workers' rights. Um, so. You know, there, there. It's very important for folks to come out and say, you know, that's not what we want you to do. You know, this is not what we stand for. Um, you know, what are the values of our of of our country, of our city, our state? Um, and I think that uh, you know, f more and more folks are coming forward. Are uh, they're coming together? Um, that's why there's a huge opportunity right now. Um, and I, I know that local officials and state officials, um, you know, are you know are being more brave about coming forward and saying, can we can we do something here? We have to do something here because, um, and even with uh, under threats like. Trump administration did saying that um, they'll pull federal funding from cities if you know what I mean if if they're welcoming to immigrants and you know and so I think um, it is important for us to stand up in this moment um, uh, you know in order to protect what we all believe in. Uh, interesting about this location for the rally, the memorial to the famine, and uh, not only do we have a lot of Irish who came here, but some of them got deported back to Europe. Yes. And, you know, that's the message is, you know, we all came from immigrants and and this is who we are. And and, the you know, there is a better path that um, the Trump administration can take is basically a common sense immigration reform at the federal level. Right. To kind of stabilize our communities. But they've since, you know, taken a different stance that I think um, goes the opposite way of of what America has done, you know, and who we are now. Thank you very much for being with us. Thank you. Roxana Rivera mm -hmm. from 32BJ SCIU.